China is officially deploying battery-swapping humanoid robots to patrol its border with Vietnam. And honestly, if you told me this was leaked footage from a future Black Mirror season, I'd believe you. Today we're breaking down what these robots are, why China is using them, what this means for border security worldwide, and of course, whether we should be excited or mildly terrified. So first, let's talk about what these things actually are. These aren't wobbly, slow, cute robots like we saw a decade ago. These are full-on humanoid patrol units built to walk upright, climb rugged terrain, and operate for long stretches without getting tired or bored. They're loaded with sensors, thermal imaging, night vision, object recognition, facial detection, and environmental sensing. Basically, imagine a security guard who never blinks, never takes lunch breaks, and literally doesn't care if the weather sucks. But the real flex? These robots use battery swap stations. No plugging in for hours, no waiting around. They walk up, the battery pops out, a fresh one snaps in, and boom, they're back on the job. It's like NASCAR pit stops, but for robot patrol officers. Now, why the Vietnam border? This region has always been tough to patrol. Dense forests, mountains, humid conditions. It's not exactly a friendly work environment. China says these robots will help with illegal border crossings, smuggling, drug trafficking, and general surveillance. Robots don't complain, they don't get sick, and they can handle repetitive tasks without losing focus. But it's not just about replacing people. It's also about showing off. Nations love flexing new tech, especially tech that blurs the line between defense, automation, and control. The battery swapping is where things get wild. The robots walk into a small dock, kind of like a phone hitting its wireless charger. Except instead of charging, the whole battery unit slides out. A robotic arm or automated system clicks in a new one. It takes seconds. This means the robots can essentially patrol 24-7 without downtime. A human border guard works eight hours. A robot? As long as you've got enough charged batteries, it's a never-ending security loop. And if you're thinking, well, what about maintenance? These bots can diagnose their own issues and send warnings before anything breaks. Welcome to preventative maintenance, but like, self-aware. So what does this mean for the rest of the world? Well, we're entering a new era. This is the first large-scale deployment of humanoid patrol robots anywhere. Not drones, not cameras actual walking machines acting as ground security forces. You can bet countries like the U.S., South Korea, Israel, and Russia are watching this very closely. Because once one country successfully deploys autonomous humanoid guards, everyone else starts thinking, okay, are we behind? Do we need our own robot patrol team? And let's be real, this isn't just about borders. The same tech can be used for cities, airports, military bases, disaster zones, even warehouse automation. Today, it's Vietnam Border Patrol. Tomorrow, it's your Amazon package being delivered by a robot with perfect posture. But here's the million-dollar question. Is this progress, or is this the point where we all start rehearsing our lines for the upcoming Robot Uprising movie? There are real debates happening right now about automation, surveillance, and how far governments should go when handing power over to machines. Some say it's safer. Some say it's efficient, and others say, hey, maybe we shouldn't build robot security forces that never sleep and don't get tired. Either way, one thing is crystal clear. The age of humanoid patrol robots isn't coming someday. It's not sci-fi. It's here, right now, and China just made the first big move. Let me know in the comments. Would you feel safer with robot guards, or would you rather take your chances with a human who at least needs a coffee break?